All right, this is my Yamaha G12 or G14. Been modified. It's got a ITP 12-inch wheels with 27-inch tires. Front and back. It's kind of hard to see in my shop. It's dark. Actually, all the lights are on. But <clears throat> uh, house colors, blue metal flake paint job. Just put the roof on it today kind of ridiculous but a lot of people ask about it uh, wood grain dash the glove box spare spark plugs in there got the four cup holders got custom switches here it's kind of hard to see there we go that's your electric fan your horn LED lights headlights and kill switch and starter. You got a glove box on the other side. Grant wood grain steering wheel. Bucket seats. I gotta focus again. Alright. Here's your floor shifter. Again, it's so hard to see in, in, this, in the shop. But it's a brass knuckle floor shifter. If I come down lower, you push forward, goes in the forward. Neutral, reverse. Sorry. Gas and brake. It's got the chrome rocker panels on there. Tail lights, chrome bumpers. Got a Harbor Freight. Actually, here, let me put it on the light. Let's get a Harbor Freight Predator motor. I just put it in about two weeks ago. It's a 420cc. I believe it's a 15 horse. Did some axle reinforcements. It's kind of hard to see, but when we had hydraulics on our cars, we used to have to do this to keep the axle from breaking. So I'm just kind of doing preventative maintenance, I guess. It's got a red spring in there. It's a heavy duty one. It probably should actually be the regular one. This motor doesn't turn up as much as the. Uh, Briggs and Stratton opposed twin that I had originally in it. It's a brand new motor. Nice having the LED lights. And if you look from the top here, I have the stock exhaust on it, no modification to it. Stock gas tank, again, no modification. The only thing I had to do. Is take the plastic cover off of the air box just so it would clear the strut down there. It's got a regular Ford starter solenoid, brand new battery. This is like from uh, this is like a power breaker, it'll kill all the power to all the uh, relays and shut everything off. That was something that you get from uh, my car stereo days. Electric fan. Just keeps it cool if you're just, you know, sitting and not really riding it. I still have the stock ignition on here, but you know, it's not hooked up. Let's see. Put the easy go roof on there. I'm going to paint it black, I think. It's looking a little rough, looking white on this thing. This is the air horns. Those things are pretty, pretty damn loud. Got some wheel spacers on there for these. These are four wheeler wheels, so they got huge spacers on there. On the back, there's no spacers. They're just offset but they have you know 
nothing sticks out further than the other. It's actually perfect. Uh, let's see. So, electric fan, <laughs> horn, <laughs> headlights. These are PIAA or whatever. PIAA. HID headlights. They're a million trillion times brighter than the friggin' stock ones. Again, everything's running on its own relay, so there's no electrical problem, you know, nothing like that. You can add more stuff to it. I have an extra button on, uh, you know, for you as well. The LEDs have this switch or this controller. You can pick like your basic colors here on this side. And then uh, like one is a solid color. Two does some flashing things. And you can make it brighter, dimmer, faster, slower. Make it go left, make it go right. Yeah, let me try to set it up so you can see it. And I'll try to switch them a little bit. Damn. I got the uh, receiver underneath the steering column, make it easy to point at it. If you're green, blue, red, purple, white. This looks like purple too. Yellow. And then say you're like, it like fades in and out, you can make it brighter or here, slow it down. Change the color of the fade. Make it change whatever color you want. Speed it up. Let's see, that was number two. This one's number three. I guess it's similar. Number four is a stroke. Five is a stroke too. Looks like the police. That one is like changing all different colors. But these are the different things you have here, and you can change the direction of these. It's kind of hard to tell with it so fast. You can dim them out. Make them bright. The cool thing is they light up the uh, engine bay as well. It's got a brand new clutch, brand new rear sheave and set on that. There's a green up in there. I'll just be easier to show you guys in white. Everything's new on this bad boy. All the work's been done just a few weeks now. The motor's had one oil change since the break-in. I did a three-hour break-in process on it. Drove it maybe an hour's worth. And I just changed the oil. It's got a chrome steering sa shaft. Said Grant Wheel. I'm sure, there's other things I'm missing here. So, let's fire this bad boy up. It's not really much louder than a regular golf cart. I mean, it's got a stock muffler. I guess it is a little bit louder than a regular golf cart, but it's not crazy forward when you go slow it is a little bumpy
in life. It's hard to see, but that's neutral. My lights might be a little high, but 